Thanks for joining us at IDB. We're going to look at how to install tvOS 11 without really needing a computer or without losing any of your data. You're going to head to the downloads page in the developer center and download the uh, tvOS 11 profile, not the restore image. You'll see a file that looks just like this on your machine after the fact. So it's got that config type file that you can actually use. So now we need to get that to your Apple TV. You could plug it in and use configuring and all that, but we're gonna look at a really easy way to do it wirelessly by uploading that file to Dropbox. We're then gonna go ahead and share that link and you're gonna hit show link and copy that. I don't wanna show you right here, but I'm gonna paste it into a note because this last digit here is a zero and we wanna switch it to a one. And that is very important and will not work unless you switch it to a one. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that link now and now we need to just enter that into the Apple TV. So on my fourth generation Apple TV, I'm gonna to go to settings, then to general. Now when I scroll almost all the way to the bottom, I have an option for profiles. So if you're familiar with installing the betas on your Apple Watch or even your iPhone, these profiles are allowing you to do many different things, MDM and all that, but they also allow you to install these beta profiles. You can see I already have the one for tvOS 10, but we're gonna take that, we're gonna hit add new one and put in the link. Now, if you leave it as a zero, you're gonna get this error. You could not load the profile. So we're gonna take that zero off and append a one instead. Now, once I put that one on there, you can see it has been successfully added and I can hit install to finish the installation process. Drop down to install and click that. And before it'll actually take effect, you still need to actually restart your Apple TV before it'll notice anything and sometimes it'll take a little while too but once you have that installed hit restart it's going to now show up on your device if you go to general you can drop all the way down to profile again just like you did in the installation process but now when you look under profile instead of having that tvOS one I had in the past we have the tvOS 11 beta software profile so it has been successfully installed with the profile but not actually tvOS 11. But if you go to software update and hit update software, it'll run. It'll tell you that there is an update. I have already done it, so it's up to date for me, but that's all you have to do. Run the software update and you're good to go. As always, let us know what you think of tvOS 11 down below in the comments. Subscribe. Until next time, it's Andrew for IDB.